just like an E moves forward on our three line bar graph, the three comes from the left. So what is left behind is now swooping forward, forward, top and bottom. So the three is that. A six is what is happening in the human world is circled at the bottom between the bottom, the ground, and the skyline where we're at. Basically, basically where we're living, what we're thinking, what we're doing in the sky above us all the way to that top line way up there. And it curves outward to that top of that top line because that's what's happening all together, whether we see it or not, or whether we experience it or not. It's just the all together six, the human. The nine is a circle at the top, swooping down to where you're standing in the present moment or where you're coming from if it loops all the way back. No matter what you do with the nine, it's either coming down to the bottom line to meet you down where it's at. No matter what happens, what's going on with the nine is happening. So the letters between there are directions that fill the spaces of the... There's no shape name for the way spiritual math works. It's not like a octagon or a dodecagon or a quasi-metragon. I mean, there's no real word for it. There's, it's not shapes, it's vibrations mixed with everything. So I'll never be able to put that into words for people, but I will be able to show people as they take me seriously and start listening and doing some of the stuff that I'm talking about. As As hard as it is if they don't like my voice or the way I talk or the way I get into it, but it's been so long that I've been trying. I'm, I'm getting a little frustrated individually as an independent person of being in a body. It's, uh, we're, we're all doing this, but since I have answers that are obvious and I can just show people and it, it, the ones that aren't so obvious that sound just wacky and crazy, it's just because I'm spitting them off so easy. I've done this so many times. It's, it's nothing to me. It's like, I'm not super fascinated about it. And at times I feel like I'm ruining the game or not really game at all. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm ruining God's world, but I am God. And there's times where I, I'm God crying in Dan's body. And Dan's like the Christ of me, the, the lower self that realizes himself until he found the truth. So like there's your lowest self, which is just your ego that thinks you're your name. And then there's me, that's like Dan on an, on a basis when I'm around my mom and dad and brother, you know, having to act like a human being in a earth experience, not even no spiritual, anything involved in their lives. And it really sucks. I can't get them to even meditate. My mom goes, I sit on the, on the porch and have cigarettes and pet the cat. And I just think about stuff. And I'm like, that's not meditating. You're not, I mean, in a way, everything is meditation. You're walking, talking meditation. I'm in moving meditation all the time, but Anyway, so the lowest self was, of course, the ego that you didn't know you were only playing. And then the middle self is the one who's seeking up until you realize that Christ and Jesus is basically like the peace of spirit that you are aware of having, knowing that you're part of the whole in a giant energetic spiritual experience. That's that's like the second level. Usually people get to there and maybe they'll have a couple body experiences really heavy in their body and be like, I had an outer body experience because my body felt so numb and, and awesome. I'm like, so that would be a in your body experience. And I, I know there's a lot of people who've had outer body experiences because I've experienced it from many different infinite levels. So I, I know it's very possible and we all do it whether we were are aware of it or not. That's the problem is if people are truly aware, the word aware, what it really means, and there are, and it's happening, and it's really great, but people are very much still stuck on their egos or just stuck on their higher self and not really knowing that their divine self is right here creating this world blatantly right in front of you. Like, I've seen places and ways where I could study in my lifetime and actually make things happen and burn. And, and I, I know that they work because it's memories that I try not to think about because I can go deeper into them the more I think about them. So 
that's a task that I had to do and learn to teach myself because it's some crazy stuff. You really can think yourself to death. And I've gotten myself to like the verge and then save myself because I'm like, what am I doing? You know, you don't have to do this. I mean, it's, it's crazy stuff. I know it sounds like it, but this is what like I would say I'm, I'm Dan isn't a genius, but Dan's a good dude. And I, I just know what's going on. So it's like I'm, I teach myself through my higher selves and selves, my higher just divine self. The divine self teaches me. I can't break it into different beings. Those are just time. Time at different spots and different thoughts is just different beings. Different things are being thought. Different time being. That, that's all it is. Every word you say is just God creating more thought or God creating more outcome or God actually creating more physical world. But it depends on who you're saying it to, how it's happening. Like your words can make things move. If you say, go do that, people can move for you. If you yell at an animal, they'll jump, jerk and run sometimes. Like there's things that your voice automatically already does. And those are thoughts playing out through your mind. And those are reactions from other people and what they put into their bodies. So the world would be able to communicate on a whole much better level if it wasn't so full of the kind of foods they're eating and that kind of stuff. And I don't want to get into that at all, but they would be sending different messages. They would be receiving different messages and they would actually feel the earth crying out to them to do the right thing and saying, what are you doing to your ours? Or like ourself, not yourself, but same thing as same, yourself and ourself is the same thing. It's just people have been taught not to realize that and somehow shut off that feeling because now that I, I feel it at all times, I can't turn it off. So I'd be disgracing myself and disobeying God directly and saying, because I can't convince people because I'm not dressed up like a guru master that they've seen in books or on YouTube videos or on TV shows or on old ancient scriptures and drawings and writings, uh, we've, we've progressed through time. Why would anybody dress up like they used to? I'm trying to do as much as I can to use what I've already had because if I have clothes that use, you know, something that a vegan, a truly green person wouldn't wear, like I'm green through and through. I'm every color through and through. I'm a hue manager. I'm a human being in time knowing exactly what life is about. And everyone else has been told so many stories that they have to be right about something. But the thing is, most people just don't even know what they're saying means. And I don't know how to be nice about that besides saying I love you. And I just want to teach you what we're all here doing. Like, because I know and I, I can't just turn it off. I can't wake up tomorrow and not see the truth in front of me. I mean, it's a difficult thing to try to put into words, but I think that's pretty well said. I, I just can't turn the truth off. I can't have somebody tell me, well, this is this, this, this. I'm like, no, no, it's not. This isn't more healthy than that. And this doesn't do this for you. And this, none of those things are even true. If you think so to your heart and soul, but if you just gobble it down and say, yeah, what people tell me, cool. It, you got to think about what they put in it because you're not in control of how your body feels inside and how you get rid of things in your body that you don't want to keep and keep things in your body that you do want to keep. But you can teach your body how to do that. You can teach your body how to be shaped. You can teach yourself how to stay warm. Like right now I'm sitting and it's like 40 degrees outside and frosty. And I took off my outer sweater because I, I still haven't turned on the heater over the last few, like the couple months, it's been down in the 50s and stuff at night. And I, instead of getting cold, I just focus my mind on warming myself from the inside. And like, you can turn on your inner heat. You can cool yourself down. You can make yourself warmer. It's, it's not hard. You just have never been taught to. And if you talk like that to people, they're like, you're weird. And I'm like, why wouldn't you want to know how powerful you are? And it's not like in a way where I want anyone to harm anybody, but that's probably why they don't want people to really develop the abilities we have because they want to flash people all kinds of cool lights outside them when people don't realize that those lights are just outside gatherings of the things that they could literally eat through certain natural foods and be able to see the world the way you think it's so fascinating on a TV screen when you put a DVD in it. 
but since you eat animals and, and really numb chemical foods that just dumb you down, if you could clean all that stuff out of your system for a couple months, literally just a couple months, and drink a lot of healthy things and eat a lot of healthy things, come, go green slowly but eventually completely, you would start seeing the world in that kind of 3D kind of everything. And it's not psychedelically, it's... Literally, it's how you would be. It's, it's, it's spiritually playing the world to you the way, okay, you, you, when you eat all kinds of fatty foods, you have never feel good. But how come when you drink fermented hops and barley or when you smoke dried marijuana leaves or if you eat some mushrooms that they're all healthy things for you except for the beer because of the way they ferment it and they add alcohol to it. But without that, just that, because that's not completely green, Like if you have wine, it's a little bit better for you. But if you work yourself up and you have too much other stuff in your body, it's going to toxify your blood and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get into that. So you can have to, you can, you should understand by now that marijuana and things like that have very healthy versions. It's not saying go overboard with everything or anything at all. You don't want to go overboard with anything. But some natural, what they used to call drugs are just things that, are really good for you, but they don't want you to feel them. And people know if you smoke weed or sometimes if you eat weed the right ways, you get pretty fucked up. And if you take some pure like LSD or pure mushrooms or pure things that people haven't tainted it or anything like that, or that are really, you know, non-toxic, like you will feel things and those are natural, worldly, earth-made things. They're not chemicals. They're not fatty foods. They're not animal products. They're not even animal byproducts. And if you can keep them pesticide free and green, grow them yourself, you will be playing those mineral chips that we use as memory cards and those plastic and laser burnt discs, the way that plants and minerals receive the light, the water, the sun, and see things and interpret the world the way it really is through nature. That's, that's natural nature. So what you're doing is, is nature's real version. Instead, you're watching someone else's version and you think you like that better because you've never done it the other way ever. And if you keep watching their version of TV and the worldly stuff and all the kind of things, you're keeping it there because the more people you encounter who do those other things, keep them in your mental memory. And everyone who sees other ones doing it keeps them in their mental memory. And the more you start not watching those shows, doing those things, eating those foods one at a time and people stop doing it, there will be no call for them and they'll disappear. It just takes time because we're in time doing this. So we have to become more unanimous and it can change overnight. We can say, this is what we don't want. This is what we don't want. This is actually really bad. We didn't think we were just so silly. I can't believe how silly we were when we can grow our own stuff and say, okay, government, you can stop and you guys can grow your own stuff too. We'll just, wherever people are homeless, they live wherever there's room because we're all one big family. Whatever clothes, materials we have, whatever things are out there that people are craving so bad, we finish it up. We start growing our own gardens and our own plantations and we balance it out with nature. And oh, that would be so hard. No, it wouldn't. It'd be pretty damn simple. But people don't want to think that way for some ungodforsaken reason because that's not what I want. That's not what you want deep down when you become the I that you are. You don't want to kill yourself by toxifying the world by doing things that are just childish and ignorant that you're not thinking about deeply enough. You really don't want to do that. And when you die, you understand. And I've died so many times, I can tell you without, I, I don't want to like, I don't think it's impressive anymore. I don't, I, I was, my mind was blown at first, but I don't really think it's a big deal anymore. It, it really bothers me that other people are still living in such a like middle school world. They're stuck in middle earth. <laughs> They're like the orcs, you know, they're just ongoing reoccurring concepts from what the history said, from what our ancestors did. And it's okay, the great, our ancestors did that. We've had billions of ancestors who did so much more than just that. The plants are our ancestors, not the people. The people are combinations of what they ate from the ground and how they interpret it and how they saw it and how they projected it to each other. And that's exactly what we keep doing if we keep watching them 
and watching shows like that and representations of things that we're doing now that make no sense. It's, it's just simple spiritual math happening right in front of you in shape and color. And it, it's happening through words and letters and everything I can actually just say, all we got to do is change this, 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 and this. And, and people just would have to take it upon themselves to not just listen to me, but feel the reason and feel the need to do it for themselves in the future. I don't know how else to say it differently that would mean somebody or mean anything to somebody and touch their heart, but it doesn't matter. It's just, I love them and I'm trying to help them all because I don't see myself one tiny bit different than any other living thing. And I don't think I ever will be able to again because I love livingness that much. Livingness is lovingness. And God is all of it. 